What's up, guys? Um, this is Novak. This is going to be different. I can tell you that right off the bat. Um, as some of you know through Facebook and Twitter and all that, um, me and the girlfriend broke up, and it was one of those breakups where you think your fucking entire life is over and you just don't want to do anything. Um, and I wasn't going to do this. I don't know when I would have come back if I had, hadn't done this. Um, basically, this is seen, and it's a lot like Emily is Away. And if you're big on watching people play games on YouTube, I'm sure you've seen Sony play Emily is Away before. Um, that was a text message. Um, basically, what we're going to do here is... We're going to do this and hope that maybe, just maybe, this will help me get over everything. I know that my emotions are going to be kind of intense in this, like, playthrough of everything. But I'm going to try to keep it as low-key as possible for you guys. Um, because I want to be here to give you guys content. But I'm struggling emotionally right now to figure out what I'm going to do. Because, like I said, it was one of those... Your, my fucking life is over breakups, but, um, I don't want to spend too much time talking about it beforehand, let's, let's just do this, uh, you can see my names on the screen, I, I apologize, we can't change the name, okay, well, that, that's fine, um, I'm gonna try to do this and be as optimistic about things as I possibly can, hi, Novak, I go this way. No. Hello, Nicole. Pretty basic so far, I guess. She gives a smiley face, though, so that means something. Um. Okay, sure. Ask us some questions. I'm a little curious. Thank you so much, Novak. What are the three chemical bonds? Uh, I did not take chemistry. James Bond's, yeah, he's a Bond, so I mean it's not wrong. I didn't, I didn't take chemistry, um, so don't crucify me. I'm emotional. Ha ha! Good old chemistry jokes. I'm pretty sure the third one is covalent. Sure. One thing I have learned, never tell a girl she's wrong. Nice to meet you, Novak. We don't even know each other? How did you get my phone number? Because this, this is like... It's not like a Facebook Messenger. It's definitely... Well, maybe it is like a Facebook Messenger. But even so, why are we on Facebook and everything if we don't know each other? I almost forgot. One more question. What is the strongest bond among the three? The strongest bond of all time is love. God damn. I mean, it wasn't the strongest for me because... It was only felt one way, obviously. So... Whatever. Stop joking around. God damn it, Hangouts. You know what? I'm getting interest, interested in chemistry. Don't you just love its beauty? I love chemistry because... It's my favorite science field. I wasn't big into science in high school. I was more like social studies. <clears throat> you can... You could you could be a great chemist someday, Novak. Thanks. I'm glad somebody in the world believes in us. That's all you really need is one person to believe in you. Wish I had that, but apparently I didn't. Go for it. You're going to be an awesome chemist, smiley face. I think I have to go now, friends. Okay. Is that it? That didn't seem that bad. Take care, spike your hair. Is that it? There's gotta be more than that.
This getting back in that recording thing is awkward, not gonna lie. Hi, Novak. Big smiley face. Hi, Nicole. You seem to be happy. We're just waiting to see what she says. You won't believe what... Who the fuck is Mike? We're not good enough for you? Who the fuck is Mike? Fuck Mike. Haven't you know... You don't know about him yet? Mike's in one of my classes. My girlfriends have a thing for him. Now I understand why. He gave me flowers, a bouquet of roses. Fuck you, Mike. Pulled off a serenade. Fuck you. I hope you get fucking Lou Gehrig's disease, you piece of shit. I think it was really brave and sweet. Oh, wow. What happened next? Fuck you, Mike, you piece of shit. He's now my boyfriend. No one has ever done things that sweet for me. Fuck Mike. Fuck him. Fuck him, you piece of shit. I hope you fucking get Lou Gehrig's disease. Sometimes, I guess, but... But... It's been amazing. He said he's got a surprise for me next week. Oh, I'm sure he fucking does. I can't wait. So I asked what it, I asked his sister what it is. Oh, I I so want to know. She told me Mike's gonna take me to the amusement park, not far from our place. So yeah, my mom let me go with him. That's cool. Why would you tell another guy this? Like, what the fuck is your problem? It sure is. Love face. Gotta go, Novak. See you later. Yeah, I'm sure you fucking do. One week later. That pisses me off. I'm so sick of always being the fucking best friend. I don't... Me and Little Hitler have always had that problem. You guys know Little Hitler if you've been around for a while. We always had that fucking problem. We're so goddamn fucking nice that all we are is the best friend. It pisses me off. I don't get care how it's going with Mike. What's up? Not much. I don't want to live anymore. The fuck? Feels like the whole world has betrayed me. Yeah, because what the fuck did I do? You were right about things. About Mike being a dick? I'm sure I was. Tell me, tell me Mike broke up with you or some shit. Be nice to know that I had to send two messages right there. I couldn't just put that all in, in one. Go ahead, message me. You know about Mike's surprise, right? When I, the one I asked sister about, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I got all dressed up for the surprise earlier and went to the, our restaurant reached rendezvous what the fuck I saw my best friend Jenny and Mike holding hands with my very own eyes <sighs> I know how it feels to be cheated on so like I want to be mad that she friend zoned us but it really does fucking suck to be cheated on I that happened to me when I was engaged in like, it doesn't matter how long you're with somebody, that that still fucking hurts. What did you do? Since I didn't want to cry in public, I ran back all... I mean, if they're best friends, then I feel like she does know. <sighs> that really sucks. What? She's my best friend. Well, she used to be, so how can she not know? 
I told her everything about me and Mike because I trusted her. She, she, oh God, please. Even though I'm still mad about the friend zone thing, every, when you go through something like that, you can't do it alone. I know, I sure as hell couldn't when it happened to me. I can't get over it. How can my best how can my best friend didn't tell me? I mean, how? How? Thanks Novak. I just I just wanted to let my feelings out. It when you get cheated on, it hurts. But when you get when the person that they cheated with is a friend, that hurts a lot more because one, you lose the person that you're in love with, and two, you lose a friend. And that really 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 fucking hurts. And all I can tell you is just let it all out. Like, I'm here for you. Like, I may not be the person that you wanted, but I'm the person who's going to stay and listen. Thanks a lot, Novak, for lighting up, lighting up my day. You're welcome, Nick. I don't like that we call her Nick. Novak, I forgot to tell you. Okay. Jenny is also in one of my classes. I think I'm not ready to go to school tomorrow. What should I do, Novak? I'll take care of you. Oh, take care of it. I thought we were going to take care of her. Well, telling the teacher's not going to do anything because at the end of the day, they're going to be like, you still need to be there. Tell the principal you're going to have the same reaction. So the best thing we can literally do for her is make up an excuse why she's not there. I feel really bad for her. Oh, okay. Just please make it, make it a believable one. Oops, I forgot. I have chores to do. Thanks again, Novak. Goodbye. Good luck with the chores. Try to, like, brighten her day a little bit more. Yes, sir. Seriously, though, I gotta go. The day after you made an excuse... Fortunately, you succeeded. Okay. We're good. That wouldn't have been good if we would have failed in the excuse. After three days, she successfully moved on and decided to go back to school. Three days is not a lot of time to move on from a breakup. Hi, Novak. You can't straight up ask her if she's moved on because if she hasn't, she's going to feel worse for not having moved on. You guys just saw a bunch of shit you probably didn't want to see. Novak, I've been getting messages and calls from Mike lately. I don't know if I should take action. Let's give Mike the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the whole thing was a misunderstanding. I don't see how it could be, but maybe talking to him would be a good closure for you. And right now, even though Mike care clearly cares about you, Nicole, let me explain. Nicole, please answer my call. Nicole, we have to talk about things. That guy was getting ready to say, even if she has moved on, quote unquote, she won't know until she says listens to what he has to say. And maybe that's what she needs. And right now, even though we do care about her and our character clearly has feelings for her, the most important thing is that she's over her ex. Because if we did end up in a relationship with her and she wasn't over him, you'd be doomed to fail from the very beginning. The best thing we can ask her is if she if she has moved on. Like for real, like legitimately. If she hasn't, then she should listen to his calls. Even though that's potentially getting them back together, at least, of course, I should probably just ignore him. It might be one of his dirty lies again. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, did you receive my package? We'll get back to that. Like, even if, like, the potential for them getting back together is on that phone call, we don't want to be with her because of a fluke because she didn't answer his call because then she'll always wonder what if. And she may always have feelings for him. Which is not good for us because we'll never 
truly find love with her if she's stuck on somebody else. And I don't know what you're talking about as far as the package. I have no clue. Just check your mail. Mail is for old. Mail is for old people. Old people really love waiting on the mail. I've never fully understand understood that. To be completely honest, why old people like looking at waiting on the mail, but um, it's like it gets their dick hard or something. Oh, just ugh, just go check it. You'll regret not doing it. All right. Hmm. You went to check the mail. Okay. You opened your gift. So what did you get? Mug chocolate or a James Bond DVD? I feel like the James Bond DVD has a big significance to our our relationship because the first joke we told her was about James Bond. And I guarantee it was Octopussy. Oh, yeah. Like, I didn't say, why did you get me this? Because it sounds a little hostile. Like, that was, like, the better of the answer. Like, what's the occasion, you know? Well, you've been such a good friend to me, but I think she's starting to catch the feels. Remember the day we first met? You helped me with my... Oh, yeah. You helped me get over Mike and Jenny. You're a great person. I know I can trust. I I feel like it's about to happen, guys. I feel like it's about to happen. We're going to get our dream girl. And it, it's going to be great. Like, you can't ask for more than that. Oh, here we go. Like, I'm living vicariously through this character, but the character is me, so it's okay. I'm just, I'm happy for our character in the game. Do you think, think we're too early for, you know, I mean, I don't want to get hurt again. Oh, here we go. Novak, please be honest with me. Can I trust you? I don't want to flat out say yes because you never know. Here we go. I knew I could count on you. I think we should be more... We are in, ladies and gentlemen. We are in. It is about time. This guy clearly likes her. Wait, what? So I would like to clear you... You used my real name as my new best friend. <laughs> um, not going to lie. That stung a little bit. Um, I'm going to go back into real life for a second here. Um, my breakup happened because she said she didn't love love me. She best friend loved me. And she couldn't lie to herself and con and try to convince herself that we were in a romantic relationship. And all she saw me was was her best fucking friend. Okay. Um. I'm I'm a little heated. <laughs> um. That really fucking hurt to have it happen in real life and then again in a game. That that really fucking hurt. What the fuck am I supposed to say to that? Thank you for trusting me. I hope we'll stay the same. What? You can't be like, I, I think we need to take our relationship to the next level. And then be like, I want you to be my best fucking friend. What do you mean, what? I, you. Oh, shoot. I'm way past my sleeping time. Your sleeping time? What the fuck? 
what the actual end of chapter one. All right, guys, um, that's the end of chapter one. Um, that fucking hurt a lot, especially right there at the end. Um, this is going to be the main focus of the channel until I get my head back on right. Um, because I don't have the capacity to do Pokemon or anything like that at the moment. Um, eventually it'll come back, but right now I'm just going to mainly focus on this and hope to get my head right. This has been weird. I'm not going to lie. This isn't what I'm used to. It's not what you guys are used to. Um, I want to be a better content creator than I'm, than I have been. And I don't know exactly where I'm going to go from here. But I know that we're going to finish this off. I don't know how long it's going to be. I just know that part of me feels like I need this. And I'm glad that I can do this with you guys. Um, that That's really it. Um, I guess if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. And if you enjoyed it and you're new here, subscribe or all that stuff. Um, this is, this is, this is hard. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's, it's really hard. But, um, I know that you guys have got my back and everything and, uh, that helps. So I'll see you guys in the next one.